I'm sorry. Welcome back to the latest episode of Canvas in Five Minutes with your boy, Ken Wheeler. It was a long fucking weekend. I should have made more of these, but um, it was like 85 degrees out and I was shit-faced. No squad. But when I do get shit-faced with my squad, <clears throat> uh, if somebody passes out, we like to draw on their fucking face. Um, the squad's not around, so I had to do it digitally. So today, I'm going to show you how to use Canvas to draw on your friends' faces. And here we have today, none other than Mr. Sean Larkin. I already used a, a picture of him passed out. But, I, you know, A, I don't have it. B, it would be mean. So I'm just going to use his profile photo. I hope he's okay with it. I don't give a fuck if he isn't. Um, yeah, so what we have here, I did a little little HTML setup. Um, to get us ready to draw, right? So we have um, we have a color picker, input type color. We have a clear, and then we have like a width selector, a girth selector. So let's get started. But before we get started, you see that button down there? It says subscribe. Click it. Just fucking click it. I'll wait. Okay. Let's do this. So we hop over to our, our, our JavaScript, right? It's the same canvas type shit we've been doing. You know, I, I pre-filled in the, the get element by IDs and shit. Um, so we're going to have to maintain a little bit of local state, right? So we're going to, um, let's track our pressed state, right? Let's track our girth and our color. Let's default to black there, right? And then let's add some event listeners. So we have uh, my canvas. So this is the first time I'm really getting into events with canvas. Um, you, you put them on the parent canvas element and then kind of do like fake event delegation. We don't have more than one thing here, so we're not going to do that today. <coughs> but uh, <coughs> that's how you do it. I'm sorry, I need a jewel. All this fresh air is fucking with me. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, add our event listener for mouse down. Right, and this is going to set our pressed state. Right, so we could say pressed equals true. I kind of fucked up. I defaulted that to true. That should probably be false. Um, and then uh, for shits and giggles, let's let's do a begin path. Can we do that? Sorry. So when we press our mouse down, that's where we're going to start drawing. Right. Um, and then the, the next one that we want to do is move. Right. And this is where most of that magic's gonna happen. Off screen buffering, what the fuck? All right, so we come up here and uh, we're gonna wanna check pressed, right? So if we're just moving over it, it's not gonna do it. Um, and then here, uh, let's say, let's let's set our, our drawing variables here. So we could say uh, stroke color or style. <coughs> and then stroke, or no, it's, it's line width is equal to girth, right? So if we change those every single time you mass move, it'll check it. We'll be good to go. Um, and then to actually draw, right? Um, we're gonna have to actually grab the reference to the event. All right, then we can hop down here. This should work. CTX line two. <clears throat> Let's do uh, page X and E dot page Y. Um, I have the, the canvas absolutely positioned on top of an image of Sean. Um, so page X and page Y should work here. And let's call CTX stroke, because if you don't call that, it's not going to draw anything. All right. Um, so obviously we want to cancel. Uh, our, let's do up. Right, so we want to cancel our press. And then here we could say like CTX close path, I guess. We want to clean that up. The stroke kind of does that, but I don't give a fuck. And then we could say press equals false, right, to reset our press. So unless I fuck this up, this should start to draw on Sean's face. <coughs> here we are drawing on Sean's face. I, I don't, wh what is this? All right, yeah, so here, we're drawing on Sean's face. This is sloppy though. We want to we want to draw some other things. Um, 
if I want that off of his face, I should be able to hit clear. So let's do that. So we have clear button. <clears throat> Dot add event listener. I'm going to listen for a click. And on click, that should be pretty simple. We'll just do a clear rect 0, 0.0. It's 400 by 400. Right? So if we take Sean and we we do face tats like like fucking trippy red and shit right uh, and then we want to clear it we should be able to clear it okay um, then let's say we want to change our color or our girth of our drawing um, we could say let's see what the name of that is we could say color input we're going to add an event listener. We're going to say uh, change. Actually, we need the event there too. And then in there, we're going to change our color to e.target value. And then if we want to do the girth, it's going to be girth input, add event listener, change e. And then we Hey now, not it's not an array. You say e, uh, girth is equal to e dot target value, right? So in theory, this should work, All right? Let's test the, the initial drawing around Sean. <clears throat> I think Sean would look nice blonde. Well, the color thing isn't on the screen, so. <coughs> Up, oh, up, oh, the Rona got me. Let's see if we can bump up the girth on this bad boy. Oh, look at Sean. I mean, he's kind of a dirty blonde. It's light brown, but... Looking good. Hook him up with some... Whoop. Hook him up with some eyebrows. I wonder if we bump the girth all the way up. We do some some navy blue thug life on his forehead. Thug shit. Hulk Hogan mode. Not giving a fuck. Um, but yeah, that's that's all there is to it. So you can create a uh, a reasonably usable drawing program here um, in forty lines of canvas. If you were to actually give a fuck. Um, you could probably make something pretty sick and, you know, a couple hundred more. Um, but that's Canvas in five minutes. I'm recovering today. I forgive the lack of energy. As always, slap the fucking subscribe button and holler at your fucking boy. There's going to be sick shit coming. Holler.